Yo, this is the Plantin Burger $20 dinner challenge. Yo, back at it again. $20 challenge. Come in the $20 man. Let's go to the grocery store. Let's see what we can find. So food is me jumping on my truck and drive go over Fiesta. Go grab four plantain. It come to two dollar and three cents. So me have seventeen dollar and ninety seven cents. So me head to H E B because me can get everything there. So grab two fresh tomato. Make sure so them firm. You understand me? Look at them look pretty. Yeah, grab a bunch of lettuce. So me search through the beef department and see what the cheapest one me come find. Come here. Fling him in a cart. Then I go and head to the deli and tell her I see him more six slices of American cheese. Yeah? Six slices. Yeah. And then I grab two, I grab a thing and I grab a pineapple soda. Because you know HEB of the international aisle. And then I grab a mayonnaise in the last part. You know, so everything came up to $16. So I'm right power budget. So I head home now and say, alright then, let's make dinner for me and wifey. You know the vibes? So I'm going to cut up them ground beef here you know, and roll them into ball because we don't want them too big and we don't want them too small, we want them perfect for the plantain. So we start work up our plantain and now cut out the two edge and peel the plantain real fast. At this moment they can rub out some oil pan, you know. So it's easier for peel the plantain if you want to do it, you know. So I'm going to cut them in equal pieces because when you, when you smash it, you have to make sure they come in one nice little round circle, you know. So that's why I do it this way. We we'll go fry them until them golden brown. While them are fry, let's start work on our burger, no man. I saw it go, you know. Take one stone, kill two bird, man. Fling them in a skillet. Listen to me, I never have a burger press, so don't kill me. It's a twenty dollar budget. We're gonna make we're gonna turn our hand and make fashion. We're we'll gonna find something in the kitchen and press them burger yeah. The dinner have to go on. And guess what? We're gonna season it with the best all purpose season of the world. That's the reggae blend all purpose season. And then we're gonna eat it with some jerk because you don't know. Want to have a look a spicy Caribbean flair to it. Why not? Is it me? Why not? I can go on my website and order these season, okay? I don't know, just flip them there. This is gonna take like about say six to seven minutes and it's ready. I eat it again with some all purpose season. I like what my burger fully seasoning. I say every bite of my take. I can taste flavor. You see me? Flavor packing, never lacking. See the plant there? Them get a little golden color. You smash it. Yeah, use a plate, whatever you have, and smash it. I saw Caribbean kitchen because sometimes we don't have the right um, equipment. But guess what? The meal is going to taste good. Smash it again with the plate. So it, so it look round. We're going to fry them again, make them firm. Because we we'll use them here as substitute for the bread, you know. So they may have to be well crispy. Eat it with some mayonnaise. If you don't like mayonnaise, you can use Greek yogurt or whatever you want to use. Slice of tomato. Get some fresh lettuce. Fling on your burger with cheese and then fling on your plant. Now look upon that. How you want the double double or you want the single? Let me know in the comment. What you like, the double double or the single? Look upon it, man. Spice Jamaica with me. Nah, I like eat like about five of them here. And this end up make eight small burger, plant burger. Oh my God, so good. You have to try.